Welcome back everybody. Today we are diving into a story coming out of Phoenix, Arizona, which is the fifth largest city in the United States and is currently the only or the largest, shall we say, US city without an all civilian independent review board. Now, Los Angeles, they developed theirs in the 1920s, uh, New York in the 1950s, and Chicago took as late as 2007 to provide an all-civilian review board. But that's not what today's story is about. Today's story is about Erica Reynolds. Back in uh, the day before Christmas, about a year ago, there was a wiretap. She was on the phone with a dealer the police intercepted that phone call. In the phone call, she actually said that she stuffed drugs, victimless crime, I know, in places that we can't say on YouTube. And because of that, she was arrested. Now, during her arrest, the police department in Phoenix conducted an illegal body cavity search. And because of that, Erica Reynolds filed a 125 million dollar lawsuit let's jump into it Took me back to the station and they illegally cavity searched me like they violated me in ways that i ain't never been touched this lady go inside my body like that like i ain't never been touched in a way that i ain't wanted to be touched you know they feel like going to the hospital having to tell somebody you need a rape test done on you to check your body because you've been tampered with. Somebody got to be accountable for this. Now, I do have some video to share with you guys, obviously not of the alleged incident. But before we play that video, let's go over some of the details of the case. Like I said earlier, she was arrested and had the illegal body cavity search performed on her. She was then arrested again in February, and she is claiming that she was arrested again and coerced to confess for possessing illegal substances. And she is claiming that this arrest was to prevent her from speaking out about the prior incident. The day of the initial arrest, police said that they smelled marijuana inside Miss Reynolds' car. However, during a search, they found nothing. During a pat-down, nothing. They brought out a drug-sniffing dog, nothing. But that didn't end it. She was not released, she was brought in, but instead of following Operation Order 7.1, they conducted an illegal body cavity search. Now, if we look into this, it says here that officers will limit searches of the mm and the mm areas to a visual one only. Officers will not insert fingers into a prisoner's body cavities at any time. But the biggest portion of this policy that was violated is subsection C. Physical intrusion will be conducted by virtue of a search warrant or consent of the suspect and then only underlined and in bold by a medical doctor. However, this body cavity search was not conducted by a doctor and instead was conducted by a Phoenix Police Department officer. Upon leaving the police department, Miss Reynolds went immediately to the hospital and had a sexual assault kit performed on her. There was evidence of sexual assault and rectal bleeding. Reynolds filed a complaint, however, Phoenix Police Department refused to investigate the circumstances. On February 6th, Reynolds went to the city town hall to speak with the city council about the incident. She was arrested three hours earlier to prevent her from speaking. Maricopa County prosecutors have not charged her with anything from that arrest, making it clear and obvious that the arrest was to prevent her from voicing out her concerns over the illegal body cavity search. And now, December 17th, 2019, just a couple weeks ago, Phoenix City Council voted to approve a $1.6 million settlement. And I think the thing that bothers me the most is this right here. The settlement passed the council seven to two. Who would vote against this? They violated police procedures. They violated Miss Reynolds. No illegal substances were found and no charges were ever brought against her. And here's one of the buttes that voted against the settlement. Saul DeCicio. Saul DeCicio of District 6. He's quoted as saying, the city of Phoenix is doing something wrong. I agree, but this individual is getting $1.6 million of taxpayer money when we have police officers barely making it in the city of Phoenix. In the city of Phoenix, starting salary is at $51,000 a year. That's about $25 an hour, top salary being $36 an hour, barely making it. 
That's of course not including benefits and some police officers in Phoenix are reported as making over $250,000 per year when including deferred compensation, retirement, benefits, etc., etc. But they're barely making it, struggling to survive, guys. They can barely eat. Female officer Timory Murphy conducted the body cavity search and because of her misconduct, she was suspended for a whole 40 hours, 40 hours for sexually assaulting a member of the public. As a matter of fact, let's imagine that Officer Murphy makes the most that you could possibly make per hour, which is $36.01 per hour. Now, multiply that by 40 hours. She lost $1,440.40. But you and I lost $1.6 million. And we still have dirtbag officers like Timory Murphy on the police force. I think one of the things that uh, uh, DeCicio doesn't understand, if a police officer is willing to violate an operations order that is that severe, imagine what kind of violations these police officers had against other individuals when complaints would be egregious or, or, or minor. I would personally say that any action that this police officer has ever had as a police officer should be scrutinized. Miss Reynolds' constitutional rights were violated. Her Fourth Amendment flushed. I've tried to find something concerning Officer Timory Murphy and qu her qualified immunity because as far as I understand, qualified immunity is expressly verboten when you violate somebody's constitutional rights or a law that is very well known. But 40 hours. 40 hours! Now, Reynolds finally did speak to City Hall. Unfortunately, the audio is not the best, but I am going to post it for you guys to listen to. She's making an appeal to the City Council to have body cameras mandatory during all interactions with the public. It's only a couple minutes long, so I'll leave you with that, along with a little more information at the very end. Erica Reynolds was on by Jeffrey Federal. Because body cameras should not be optional. 
I say this and I mean this. Police have all the time, all the money, and all the technology. At least you should not just use it against people, but people should be able to hold them accountable for the things and it shouldn't be down to a he say, she say, thing. It should be down to the body camera shows it all. And that's all. Thank you. Thank you again for all your support. Lots of kind people in the comment sections. I really enjoy doing this and the motivation to continue doing it comes from you guys. So thank you very much for everything you do. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, hit the bell notification. Otherwise hit the like button. It really helps the channel. Throw a comment down below. It doesn't matter what it is. Share it if you'd like and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.